What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to reduce your video file size using a free program known as Handbrake. Now you're going to see in this tutorial that this program does reduce the file size massively. Also there is literally no quality difference. So this video was 1920 by 1080 I then reduced it in 1920 by 1080 and over one gigabyte was reduced. Now to do this you're going to need a program known as Handbrake. Now Handbrake is 100% free and as you can see it is supported on multiple different types of platforms. So you can see right here it's on Windows, Windows 7, Windows 10, Mac OS, Linux and then if you have another operating system right here. So once you have selected what's for your system you can see it will then open up for you to download so just click save and then you can run it as normal. So when you first open it up, this is what it's going to look like. So over to the side, it's basically saying select a single video, or if you have multiple videos to uh, reduce file sizes on, then you'd select this. Now I'm going to select cancel for now, and over to the side, I do have a video, which is on my other monitor. And this is the video. So you can see the size is 1.3 gigabytes. And if I move across to the details, this video is 16 minutes 53 seconds, it's at 30 frames per second and it's 1920 by 1080. Now with that being said, you all know the file size right there. All I'm going to do is drag that video into Handbrake. So as you can see, once you drag your video in, it's just going to scan the video. Very quick at doing that. Then one thing I always recommend is have it as MP4 and also have Web Optimize ticked. And over to the side here, you can then pick how you want it to look. So you can have it in 1080p, you can reduce the file size even more if you want it in 720p, and I don't recommend anything less than 720. Now this is in the general section on the presets, however if you scroll down you can see there are other presets available for you to pick from as well. However I do just recommend this one from general. Then what you want to do is select browse. Now this is where the video is going to save, so call this something that you're going to remember. Now just an example, I've called this reduced, of course you will do more appropriate naming. I'm going to select save. Now you can see the width is 1920, the height is 1080, of course we're going to keep it at that. You can then go across to video, the video codec I recommend at H.264. Now you can pick the top one or the one underneath, completely up to you. As for the quality you really won't see a difference so there's no point in actually changing this here. Then of course you have the audio tab, again you don't really need to touch anything here. You have subtitles and chapters, again if you have subtitles of course you can import the SRT file, however it's not needed. Once you're happy with everything here, all you need to do is select start and code. Now what it's going to do is reduce the file size, all you need to do is sit back and relax. Over to the side at the bottom right, you can see you can choose what you want to happen when it's done. Now it's a really great feature. For example, if you have a really big file size or a long video, then you can just set it up overnight. You can set your system to either just shut down, suspend, hibernate, lock system, log off, or just quit handbrake. It's pretty cool. And of course, you can even set it to do nothing. So you can see this video is going to be taking 26 minutes to complete. So I'll be back to you when this is completed. Okay, so you can see that is now done and it's going to be in this folder. Now I'm opening it up on my second monitor because it is actually a client's video and her face is on it so she doesn't want to be in it. However, this is it right here. You're already going to see the file size difference. I'm going to open up the original file next to it. And as you can see, look at that difference. Over to the right is the previous video, 1.3 gigabyte. On the left, 223 megabytes. Now if we head over to details, just to show more proof that this is the same video. 1653, 1653, exact same frame rate, same frame width and height. A massive, massive difference in terms of file size. Now even though the file size has been reduced so much, you won't even notice a difference with the quality. The quality is still in HD. So give it a try and this will definitely help you for future videos. It will allow you to upload quicker if your internet isn't the best and also this will help if you want to post on social media.